Look out, world, here comes the iDroid. But what makes this robot special is the way it's controlled. Innovative software developed in Hong Kong means that users only need make a few small keystrokes to command a wide range of motion. That technology also allows data entry on the limited space of a touch screen or on many devices using controls like a joystick. So an entire keyboard can be accessed on something as small as this prototype ring. Just simple light square and then I can type all the things for the keyboard event such as uh, English, symbols or direction or doing some mouse event. The key square can also be applied into different kinds of technology. For example, such as camera, the camera screen is too, too little. But our company can do such kind of things by compress the keyboard into just nine square, do all kind of test input within a small screen. This invention shown give me uh, our uh, SME, a lot of chance to uh, expose our company to different kinds of uh, company, media, to the public extract product. Already the world's largest event of its kind, the HKTDC Hong Kong Electronics Fair, just keeps growing. With the concurrent Electronic Asia, these two events at the Hong Kong Convention and Exhibition Center have this year drawn more than 3,700 exhibitors from 28 countries and regions. Among the highlights of the four-day event are two new zones, one catering to inventions and another focused on the mobile devices and accessories which are taking the world by storm. The big overarching theme, of course, is connectivity and how these devices are connecting to one another either across the web or directly connecting. We're making all of these devices smarter. We're building in operating systems. We're adding more silicon, so we're adding more computing capabilities, and, and we're then from there driving this uh, move towards connectivity, towards smarter devices. The Electronics Fair's new invention zone is also offering some insights into the future direction the industry is heading. For example, these pill boxes developed in Taiwan help patients and doctors track exactly how much medication is being taken morning, noon and night, seven days a week. It's an example of how the industry is paying closer attention to an aging global population. That population increasingly wants to live an independent lifestyle. They want to be able to live on their own as long as they can and enjoy the you know, quote unquote freedoms that they have enjoyed for so long and so they're going to rely increasingly on technology. That brought together with connectivity will allow these individuals to have the services that they need whether it be fitness oriented, health oriented, um, you know, it could be monitoring from a loved one, uh, you name it. And to keep gadget fans of all ages connected, ideas like this Hong Kong docking station are on show. It can handle about any kind of tablet and smartphone now on the market. Or how about this 3D television that doesn't require special glasses? Just one of the many eye-catching offerings at the world's largest electronics fair. We create a 3D display without glasses that is suitable for commercial advertising. When you stand on every position, you can still see clearly the 3D effect. Right now, if this is popular, then nobody will be displaying 2D advertising anymore. Because you can see the, the impact. Autumn Fair is the largest in the world. So if you want to have impact to expose to the world, yeah, we come to here.